Did you know that there are a ton of free Google tools that you can use to grow your website? In this video, Saya and I will cover the top 11 that are our favorite and that we think that you should use. Google offers a variety of SEO tools, optimization tools, and so much more. So let's dig in. Number one is Google Analytics. If you have a website, then you have to be using Google Analytics because it is the most comprehensive analytics tools for WordPress blogs and websites. It tells you how your website visitors found your website, what device they use, what page they viewed, uh, and overall how they interacted with your site. It helps you better understand your audience so you can plan and execute an effective content and web strategy. Um, Google Analytics is a plugin that I use on all of our website. It is an absolute must-have tool. Um, it is 100% free to use for your website. And the easiest way to add Google Analytics to WordPress is by using the Monster Insights plugin. It is by far the best analytics solution for WordPress, used by over 3 million websites. Um, I had the team work on it to add features so it can help us grow our business, and it's really, really powerful. Um, one, it helps you properly set up all the advanced settings without touching any code. But after that, it also lets you view your Google Analytics stats directly inside your WordPress dashboard so you're not spending hours learning how to navigate around the complex uh, analytics dashboard that they have for power users. Overall, I recommend Google Analytics as the best free Google tool uh, that all website owners should be using. And number two is Google Search Console. Now, this is a set of tools by Google to let website owners monitor and maintain their search engine rankings and their presence on Google. It helps you see what keywords people are searching for to find your website. It also will notify you of any issues that your site might be having that might be holding you back from ranking and so much more. Plus, you can submit an XML sitemap via Google Search Console, and that just helps Google know exactly what's on your site. This is like you writing out a whole list of all the blog posts and articles that are on your website, handing it over to Google and saying, please make sure that you crawl and index all of these. All in One SEO plugin is the best SEO plugin tool for WordPress. It does so much more than just submitting the XML sitemap, and you can check out more in the description below. The other thing that Google Search Console does is say you're not quite getting any traffic on your website. So Google Analytics and Monster Insights aren't showing anything. So you might be wondering what's going on with your website. You could go into Google Search Console and you can actually see where your site is. So you might be on page 100 of Google, but that's okay. You're starting to get some impressions and some people searching for your site. You can also see which keywords people are searching for when they see your site. And you can also see what search rankings, where are you in the Google Search Console? So a lot of great tools and features for you to see just how your website is doing in Google. Number three is Google Programmable Search. Sounds advanced, but it's actually quite easy to use. What a lot of website owners don't know is that you can replace your website search with Google's powerful search algorithm. You see, if you're using WordPress, the default search feature is quite limited. And it's not very good at finding relevant content on your website. So when users are coming to your website and if, they're, if you're using the default WordPress search feature and they try to use it, they're going to be a little disappointed. So what Google does, it gives website owners the ability to add their custom site search on your website. You have complete control over the content. Um, it will search, and you can design the search feature to fully blend into your website. There are WordPress plugins out there that let you um, that let you integrate Google Custom Search on your site. Now, it's a free version, um, which means that Google will display ads on your site, and you won't be able to make any money. There's a premium version uh, that lets you remove those ads, but you have to pay on the API and it can get quite uh, expensive for those who are just starting out. So what I recommend doing for beginners who just want uh, to customize their WordPress search results um, and make it more advanced and more powerful is to use a WordPress search plugin like Search WP because it's really easy to use and it gives you all the benefits without the high cost of Google program of search and no ads. Number four is Google Tag Manager. So Google Tag Manager that allows you to easily add and manage code snippets on your website. That's because a lot of analytics, third-party analytics like Google or Clicky or remarketing tools, they require you to add bits of code or tags to your site in order for you to bring in all of this data. And then adding all of that to your site, it requires custom code as well. These custom code snippets, they can get a little unruly and hard to manage. That's where Google Tag Manager comes in. You put one snippet of code into your website and then go to Google Tag Manager's dashboard to manage all the other external codes. 
And so you only need that one snippet on your site and then you can manage the rest from a single dashboard. Now, the other thing that Google Tag Manager can do is it allows you to add things like events. As a site owner, we all like little events like who's coming to my website or what type of affiliate links are being clicked or what type of links are being clicked. Maybe we want to go out and reach out to those website owners to create a partnership with them. We also want to find out what's being downloaded. If you have a PDF, a free one or a paid one, you want to see how's that PDF doing? What's the click through rate on that? When then another really good feature is that you want to probably track is form downloads. All of these things you want to track, but with Google Tag Manager, you have to know a little bit more code in order to create those events. And that's why we also recommend Monster Insights where you can install it and it does all the heavy lifting for you. You don't have to set up these events trackings for your website. It does it for you. And then you can see all of that data right within your website. Number five is PageSpeed Insights Tool by Google. Now, if you don't know already, having a fast loading website is one of the most important parts of providing a good user experience and have higher rankings in Google. So what Google has done is they've built this PageSpeed Insights tool um, that lets you monitor your website's performance. It tells you how your website um, is performing on both the desktop and mobile devices in terms of speed and interaction. Um, the results are broken down into various different sections so you can see what's holding your site back. Is it the speed index? Is it the total blocking time? Is it the time to interactive? Is it the first contentful paint? And all the details that you would uh, that Google sees as a negative on your site. And they give you suggestions on how to fix those things too. And if you found that your website has performance and speed issues, then there's a lot that you can do. And we'll be linking to the video on how to speed up your website in the description below so you can um, follow that. But generally, what I recommend doing is, number one, have a high-performance WordPress hosting provider like SiteGround or Bluehost or WP Engine um, with proper caching plugin uh, like a WP Rocket or WP Super Cache that you can put in and they will help you speed up your website and get a higher score in Google uh, PageSpeed Insights. Number six is Google Mobile Friendly Test Tool. So nowadays everybody's on mobile and you need to know if your website is doing well with mobile. And that's what the Google Mobile Test Tool does. It tells you how well is your website doing and how well is it optimized for web traffic. It also gives you a detailed breakdown of any issues and what you can do to fix them. The easiest way to ensure that your website is optimized for web is by using a, an already mobile friendly theme. You can check out the link in the description below and all the responsive WordPress themes that we have rounded up for you. Number seven is Google Ads Keyword Planner. Now you might be wondering, Syed, why are you recommending the Google Ads Keyword Planner tool if I'm just a blogger or a website owner? You don't have to run any ads on Google to use this tool. And the cool part about this is that this tool gives you insights into what people are searching for in Google search. This data is not necessarily available outside of this and Google only makes it available to paid advertisers. But the cool part is that you don't have to run any ads, just sign up for this free service and you can still get all of that insight. Now you can use this tool to generate a list of keyword ideas for your blog, um, see which keywords are getting the most searches per month so you can create content around the right keyword. Now, this, the data here uh, doesn't provide the exact numbers, but it does give you general estimates that are pretty darn accurate because this is the data that advertisers are using to bid on certain keywords and uh, you know devise their pay-per-click strategy. Of course, you know you can use this to generate new ideas for blog posts, plan content strategy, but if you want to run your own pay-per-click campaigns, highly you have to use this tool and I highly recommend. Number 8 is Think with Google Research. Now, this is a one of the best market research tools and it's probably not something that you would think about with Google, but this is a collection of tools uh, for example, the Market Insights tool, it helps you find new regional or global markets to expand to. And then there's another tool that you can use that shows retail categories. Say if you're in a growing niche in popularity, you can also see related search terms in that. So you can grow into that as well. Now, if you also have a YouTube channel, you can use the Audience Finder tool that will help you look for new audiences to hit. Now, the other cool feature is they have some really cool research papers out there. For instance, in 2020, Syed, he shared in our Slack channel, this amazing research tool, research report on the messy middle, basically what user buying journey is like. And we actually use that to find six biases that they say that influences the purchase decisions for people. And each product market, each, each of our product channels, we've implemented those to see how that performs for our products as well. 
Number nine is Google My Business. So if you've ever looked up a local business, you will see that Google will show a, their phone number, like a call button, the directions, and tons of you know, useful insights. And that's where Google My Business comes in. It's a tool that lets you add your local business information to Google so then it can display those rich search results whenever a customer looks up your name. If you're running a local business or provide services in a local area, then Google My Business is something you absolutely cannot afford to miss. You have to use this to get an advantage over your competitors. Um, you know, displaying your business information in the search results will not only help you know boost your brand's search visibility, but it will bring new customers and potential leads because customers are just so used to of seeing this information when they don't see it about a specific business, then you know they're turned off. And you know when when we built all in one SEO's WordPress plugin, we added local SEO features to complement what you were doing in Google My Business. So you can combine those two to further enhance your local business listings in Google. Number 10 is Google Optimize. So once you have started to get some traffic for your website, then you want to use Google Optimize. This lets you create A-B testing for your pages. So if you have a site that you want to improve, maybe a sales page that you want to improve on, you can use Google Optimize to make minor tweaks to maybe the heading, an image, just to see how well it performs against the original. And the cool thing about it is Google Optimize will split that, do the split testing for you. You just do the drag and drop builder and then it'll automatically show the variations randomly to the visitors for you. So then you can pick the winner and move on. Number 11 is, of course, Google AdSense. We cannot make a video about Google tools and not mention AdSense. It is usually uh, the tool that every blogger and website owner uses in the early stages to monetize their websites. Um, they have one of the longest running display advertising platforms. Essentially, once you're approved, they give you this code snippet. You put it on your website and it starts showing ads when users click on it you make money, right? Nothing else that you have to do. You don't have to worry about selling your ads. You don't have to worry about talking with different advertisers. Google does all of that. Of course, they take a cut of the revenue, um, but it is really easy for you to get started with and start earning a little bit of revenue from your website. Of course, as your site grows, you can cut out the middleman by using one of the other WordPress ad management plugins and selling directly. A lot of uh, bloggers end up using affiliate marketing. They end up making you know online courses like by using MemberPress and such. And of course, that once you eliminate the middleman, you end up keeping more money to yourself. But when people are starting out and you want to earn money from your blog, Google AdSense makes that part really easy. Okay, now that you know some of the best free tools that Google provides for your website, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through how to install and set up Monster Insights with Google Analytics so you can see exactly how your website is doing right from within your WordPress dashboard. And I'll see you over there.